Diana Ralston is an artist who for decades suffered from serious depression. Her problem started with the birth of her daughter. After I had Jane, my character completely changed. I'd lost all confidence, all belief in myself. It was every mother's nightmare. She had severe postnatal depression and couldn't look after her child. It went to oblivion. I really didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. Diana was sent to the hospital, and Jane was taken away from her for nine months. Doctors gave her prescription drugs, but she didn't fully recover. For years, depression set her apart from other people. I had terrible exhaustion, a lack of concentration, um, no motivation, not wanting to go out, just um, existing, existing, hoping to get better. In 1999, a friend mentioned that a nutritionist might be able to help. So I was at that stage when I thought, I'll try anything. Diana went to the Brain Bio Center at the Institute for Optimum Nutrition. Um, okay, Diana, what, what, she what booked a session with Lorraine Peretta, a leading expert in the way food affects the mind. Can you give me an idea of what you eat throughout the day? Just start with breakfast. For Lorraine, the first step is to analyze her patient's eating habits. Blood and urine tests also help her identify nutritional imbalances. Using this information, she recommends a strict new diet. Diana sees the opportunity to change her life after years of suffering. The food she bought on her weekly shopping trips changed radically. In came a host of new items, from fish to organic vegetables. And the results were remarkable. I would say within two weeks, I felt a different person. I felt more like the person that I had been before I'd given birth to my child. To my child. But how could simply eating different food make Diana feel dramatically more happy and energetic after years of depression? There were some foods in her diet that were actually draining her brain power, and there were some foods missing from her diet that could have given her brain a boost. Diana's blood test confirmed she suffered from an important deficiency. Her key imbalance was in a neurotransmitter called histamine, and we needed to raise this level in order for her depression to lift. We did that through nutritional supplements. But these pills were just part of the story. Diana was also told to eat more of a key brain food found in oily fish. Fish like salmon and mackerel are rich in essential fatty acids, which the body can't make for itself. And these fatty acids are an important building block for many parts of the brain. Oily fish is key for making the brain structure and making neurons. These neurons actually produce the chemicals that make that lift depression and make people feel happy so the fish oils were gonna make her brain make happy chemicals fresh fruit and vegetables were also a major part of Diana's new regime they're packed with vitamins and minerals which help the brain make mood lifting neurotransmitters to Diana's surprise she was also ordered to stop eating certain types of food wheat products like bread were the first casualty because they could cause depression in some people. We don't really know the relationship between wheat and depression, but the theory is that it is causing an allergic reaction which results in the person feeling very depressed, very low, lacking in motivation. 